on the pole, looking to get the field going here at the line. We're underway. 20 laps of distance tonight for your sport mods. As they barrel off into turn number one, Widener going to come across the nose of the 34. James Miley with the race lead as Miley going to fall back outside your top five. Now on the 34, maybe a little contact made with the 101 on Luke Silver. Now the next straightaway, it will be Ty Widener on the top side of the racetrack. Off of turn number four, he'll lead Latner once. They go three wide now. Adam Hector at the top. Luke Silver in the middle. Justin Erickson in the bottom in the 14E. Three wide for that second spot. Give it to the middle groove of Luke Silver for a brief moment there as his car got a little loose off of turn number two. Got kind of stacked the rest of the field up. Did you see one, two, three, four, five, nine cars right there? All behind the 101 of Luke Silver battling out, beating and banging, duking it. Here comes Bo Partain, the 75C now. That ye second yellow car on the racetrack. Bo Partain down to the inside of James Miley and Adam Eckert. That's a battle for fourth on track as it's Ty Widener. Luke Silbert, Justin Erickson, your top three. Now it's going to be new fourth place runner, Bo Partain, as he does get around. Adam Ector in the 34 of Miley. Speed Madrid trying to follow suit. Speed Madrid trying to shoot the inside of Adam Ector, the outside of James Miley. His Miley goes around in turn number two. Miley goes around, gets it refired, though. Yes, he will. We stay green. So no yellow flag for the 34 of James Miley. We stay green flag racing here in this main event here as one car smacked the wall down the front straight. We couldn't quite see who that was. As it's Ty Weiner all by himself out front. Luke Silver, the next car in second. About five car lengths behind him. It's Justin Erickson, but it won't be Justin Erickson for long as they come off a of turn number four down the front straightaway. You got the Bo Partain entry, that 75C yellow car. Look at the outside now, the 14E of Erickson as they come off a of turn number two. He's once again going to try to get to the outside of Justin Eric says one car comes to a stop. That is Jesse Johnson in the number seven. Side row with Justin Erickson down his inside. Green flags in the air. We're back underway. And Wider leads the field into turn number one with Justin Erickson behind him as Speed of Madrid now looks underneath Luke Silver for that third spot. But it's going to be the outside line prevailing as Bo Partain now pulls up side by side with Madrid. Bo Partain right behind him is going to be Andy Clower, last week's winner, who was in that sixth spot trying to work his way around Speed of Madrid now. But as Madrid comes right across the nose of the 25 of Andy Clower off of turn number four. Partain now looking for that third position on Luke Silver. One car slow down the front straightaway in the, the 25X. He will almost come to a stop. But he will continue on. That's Jonathan Jensen in that 25. That's Ty Widener. Man out front in the turn number one already. We will go yellow with debris on the racetrack. So that debris. Jonathan Jensen out of the race in the 25J as the green flag flies once again. And Bo Partain trying to get all he can right now from Ty Weiner as they work off a of turn number two down the back straightaway. Partain to the inside of Weiner. That's a battle for the race lead. He'll come right across the nose of Weiner. A little contact might have been made off a of turn number four, but it's going to be Partain leading Weiner at the line. Into turn number one, Bo Partain leads Ty Weiner as they go side by side for third. Speed Madrid to the outside of Justin Erickson. He'll clear him now for that third spot behind them. Clay Erickson thought about making it three wide with Heat Dry and Luke Silver, as right now it looks like every driver trying to find real estate on the top side of the racetrack, but it's going to be Luke Silver and Clay Erickson working that bottom groove, trying to get up underneath the 7TJ of Heath Dry. As they do that, Andy Clower also putting the pressure now on the 101 of Luke Silver and Heath Dry. Clay Erickson right there, four cars battling out, now five cars with Scott Francoeur in the mix as well in his red number 75. It's Partain out front at the cross flags, followed by Ty Winder. Speedy Madrid, Justin Erickson, then it's Heath Dry, Luke Silver, Francoeur, Clower, and Clay Erickson. Those five cars, you can throw a blanket over us, coming for turn number two. Luke Silver had that fifth position for a brief moment, but here comes Heath Dry right back to the outside. He'll take it back over. Also trying to reel in this battle just ahead of him for third as Justin Erickson and Speedy Madrid do side-by-side -side racing for that third spot. Down low, it's Justin Erickson. He'll move into third and try to clear Speedy Madrid off on turn two. He'll clear him by about a car length now. Down the back straightaway they go. It's as Justin Erickson using a little bit of a lower groove compared to what the race leaders are running as well as the guys around him. And so far, able to make it work in that 14E. He'll use that middle groove as everybody else goes high. Luke Silver with a lot of contact or a lot of damage on his car along with Heath Dry. As they come off a of turn number four, Dry comes to a stop down the front straightaway going into turn at number one. Some contact for that top spot. We'll see if Ty Wider has any 
thing to say to Bo Partey if he can catch him here as they go back to green and flag racing. Partey and just drives away from the Z28 of Widener. Off of turn number two, it's going to be Bo Partain on the top side of the racetrack. About five car lengths now the advantage he has over the Z28 of Widener as they work their way down the back straight away into turn number three. Partain using the higher groove. Widener trying to work that bottom line. See if he has any traction down there as Justin Erickson falls back to the clutch. Is actually a play. Erickson now speed of Madrid spins around going into turn number one. He makes contact with Justin Erickson. They stay in the green, or they stay in the gas, though. We stay green. But Speedy Madrid and Justin Erickson from the top five all the way back throughout the field as now Speedy Madrid has issues once again. And for some reason, he's chopping Justin Erickson. Not too sure what's going on there down the back straight, but he's going to come to a stop in turn number three. So that should bring out the Beaver Stripes yellow flag for the 15 of Speedy Madrid. And Justin Erickson, he, woo. I was going to come across and hit the tires down there in turn number one. I don't think his car can turn right now. The 40 Erickson, John Morris, your top five now. Green flags in the air. We're back underway here with seven laps to go. And Partey will be the race leader off of turn number two as Andy Clower and Clay Erickson make a little contact there. Clower to the backside of the 96E. Thought those two drivers were hooked up together as Clay Erickson tried to go around the outside of Ty Wider. He'll get around him as Wider falls back to third. Here comes Scott Francourt now down the inside of Andy Clower. Clower and Wider going to try to work that top line together and try to hang on to that third and fourth spot, but it will be Scott Francourt in the 75 down the inside of Ty Wider. That's all for third on the racetrack. It's Francourt down low. Wider up top. Scott Francoeur, the only driver in the top five right now, working that lower groove as you look up ahead of them. Both Partain and Clay Erickson both go top side of the racetrack through turns one and two, but Francoeur making some things work down the inside. He's going to clear the Z28 of Ty Widener. He'll clear Ty Widener as Andy Clower. Now, hang on a minute. Let me see if I can't find some of that goodness down there at the bottom side of the racetrack. He falls right in the tire tracks in 75 of Francoeur, but his car just washed up the racetrack. The 25 of Andy Clower, so his car could not hang on down there as now Brian Miller in the 22 tries to reel er, him in. So both Partain, the man out front here with three laps to go at the line. It's Partain showing the way with Clay Erickson in the second spot. Two and a half seconds the advantage Partain has over Erickson. One car coming to a stop on the front straightaway. I believe that will be the 17. Let's see if he gets the car off the track. Yes, he will. Actually, 0-5 with Chad Stewart, so Chad Stewart does get off the racetrack. As it's Partain out front, showing the way, coming to the white flag. Doesn't have to worry about Clay Erickson behind him. Uh, well, we got a yellow flag out, actually. I believe Chad Stewart might be stopped at the pit exit. Trying to get another main event win here on the season. Looking for his third. Green flags in the air. We're underway. And Partain leads the field off a of turn. Number two, Erickson and Weiner. Both, all three of those drivers using that high side. As Scott Francoeur once again drops the nose down the inside. He had that bottom groove working for him a handful of laps ago as the white flag comes out for Bo Partain. Clay Erickson have anything for the 75C of Partain. 0.88 seconds behind at the line was Erickson to Partain as Partain drives away off a of turn number two. And he is yarding. The 96 E of Erickson and the rest of the field off of turn number four. One final time, Bo Partain picks up his third Sport Mod main event win of the season here at Santan Ford Arizona Speedway. He'll climb out of the car. Main event winner here tonight for Bo Partain. Started this race all the way back in the 12th starting spot. Worked his way up through the field. Had to work for the. That one there is. Bo, man, you look worn out here tonight, man. Hell of a weekend for you. Went traveling yesterday to go race. Coming here tonight, winning after uh, the bad taste in your mouth from last night. Yeah, hell of a weekend definitely is an understatement for sure. We towed all the way over to Price, Utah yesterday. Uh, Nine-hour drive and um, passing for the lead and got wrecked. Uh, unfortunately, they don't run a racetrack very well over there. But anyway, it is what it is. We made it back home about 6.30 this morning, got this car ready, and uh, here we are. So it paid off. Uh, you are red-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I know you got a lot of people over here you'd like to thank. Third time in the Sport Mod Victory Lane here this year. Yeah, definitely. I'm wore out, that's for sure. I think I got about three hours in the last 36 hours of sleep. But uh, I couldn't do it without Marcos. He made the trip with me. Jesse's working on the uh, 
in the shop all week long getting this hot rod all ready to go. My wife, kids, Tina, Brooke, and Summer. Uh, I got some family in the grandstand tonight. Thank you guys for coming. Um, Dirtworks Contracting, uh, Chassis Dynamics, uh, Dakota Trackside, JDJ Speed, uh, Bob Harris Enterprises. I mean, th this thing is just on rails. This thing is bad fast for sure. Um, all the fans for coming out. Ed Whitehead's Tire Pro Stats, uh, Pleasant Valley Auto Parts, Michael Harrison. He's watching at home. Uh, thank all you guys. Thank all the fans for coming out and supporting this deal. All right, go to Hero Partey in his third. Made it win here this year in the Sport Mod at Arizona Speedway. He's back in Santan Ford Victory Lane after a long at 36 hours and a long weekend.